So in this video, we're going to see other techniques to, to loop through an array. So first, we're going to start with the for loop. We already saw this one. So let's create an array to do. It's going to be, for example, homework, comma, food, comma, and we're going to add also a project. It's going to be a to-do list, learn JavaScript. Then we're going to add the for loop. Let i equals to zero. Then we're going to add i and minus to do that length. So it's going to loop four times because the length of the array is four. Then we're going to add the index. Then we're going to add console.log. And we're going to add to do. And we're going to add the position, which is going to be i. So save this and you can see we have homework, food, project, and learn JavaScript. So I'm going to comment these lines. Next, we're going to take a look at for each. For each is a new way to loop through an array and other uh, features that you will find in the script 6. So we're going to copy this to do. I'm going to uncomment this. We're going to use the same array. And the syntax is like this. To do is going to be the name of the array. Then you add for each. Then you open parentheses, and this is going to be a function. Open parentheses again and open the curly braces. So right here is going to be the body of the for each. But you can see, for example, this is a to-do list. You need to pass a singular name. Uh, this is recommended. Of course, you can name this whatever you want. But I'm going to call this one assignment. And right here, I'm going to add console.log. And we're going to add dollar sign, open the curly braces, and we're going to add this variable assignment that we created right here. So save this, and now you can see that we have the same result. The footage is going to look more cleaner, and we're going to use this in all the projects. Here on the footage, inside the function, if you add a comma right here, and you add the index, this is going to uh, help you to print the index. So right here, for example, I'm going to add dollar sign, open the braces, and I'm going to add index. Something like this, and now you can see we have 0, 1, 2, 3, and also the items from the array. So this is the, the for each loop. Next, we also have map. We're going to add something like this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add something different here. I'm going to create a new array. So it's going to be const shopping cart again. This is going to be equals to an array, but this is going to be an array of objects. ID one, and we're going to add a product, which is going to be a book, comma. And I'm going to make two more copies. And I'm going to remove the last comma right here. I'm going to add one, two, and three. So this one is going to be, uh, the first product is going to be a book. The second one is going to be a shirt. And the last one is going to be an album. And something like that. So we're going to add the, the map. And it's going to be like this. Const product name is going to be equal to the array shopping cart in this case. Then we're going to use a dot map. And we're going to execute a function. And this is going to return the key that we have here that is called product. But first, for example, you can see we have shopping carts. So we need to pass this right here. And also we're going to return the shopping cart that product. Actually, let's re rename this. I'm going to name this, for example, product name. Yeah, product name like this, I think is better. And this and this one, these names uh, should match. And also, for example, you can see we have a dot product, uh, a dot because this is an object. And we want to access this product property. So everything is going to be added into the product name variable. So we can add something like console.log product name. And this is going to extract the product name for the three items in the shopping cart. So save, and you can see we have a book, a shirt, and an album.